So this is the second video talking about ideal log gas ratios. I had one video that explained the general concept and then one where we did constant pressure. As a very similar thing, I'm going to talk about what if I have constant volume, meaning B1 is equal to B2. Well, in that case, my equation is going to simplify down to the P2 over the P1 is equal to T2 over the T1. And again, you can cross multiply that up. And then we could solve for any one of the individual values. I still had a little bit for my last one down here, so I'm going to erase that. And if I'm looking for T1, it would be T2 times pressure 1 over pressure 2. And you could also write that as pressure 1 over pressure 2 times T2 doesn't really matter. Or you could even make sure that you're clear it's pressure 1 times temperature 2 divided by pressure 2. And we can do a similar thing. I'm not going to show every single step to solve for T2, P1, or P2 in terms of the other values. You have to know at least three of these to be able to find the fourth one. In terms of units, again, temperature must be in Kelvin for all of these ratio equations. Pressure, our standard is Pascal's, but you need to have the same units on top and bottom, just like I showed in the constant pressure formula. And in that video, we can talk about why they have to have the same one and what happens with that. Again, our standard is going to be Pascal's, but you could also use atmospheres is a common unit for pressure. Um, kilopascals also gets used sometimes. So as long as you've got the same units for both pressures and your temperatures are in Kelvin, this sort of an equation works.